Come join us and have your say. Let's talk about our way. Remember you are not alone. Buddha is the light in your home. We'll talk about Buddha. We'll talk about our way. Come join us and have your say. Let's talk about our way. Remember you are not alone. Buddha is the light in your home. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh my dear brothers and sisters in Islam welcome to a new live episode of our program Viewers Pulse I'm Usam al-Shami filling in for brother Malik Evangelatos who is not, not off this evening but he's actually filming outdoors for his beautiful program inshallah that's going to air in Ramadan called Ramadan Pulse season 2 inshallah we hope uh, it will be something that is absolutely beautiful all right, um, it looks like we are having some difficulties with our phone lines this evening, our normal phone numbers. So we have a new number for you. Let me go ahead and read it out for you, inshallah. It's 0100246-4583, and the number is on your screen right now. 0020100246-4583, that is the complete number with the area code, inshallah. Feel free to give us a call at any time during this next half an hour here on Viewers Pulse and uh, share your thoughts with us. Our email, of course, is pulse at huda.tv. Pulse at huda.tv. Uh, inshallah, feel free to send us an email at any time. And uh, Brother Mackin Glatos will be answering your emails, inshallah. Our Facebook, of course, Alhamdulillah Rabbi Amin, has reached 100,000 people. MashaAllah, 100,000 likes on Facebook. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Ameen, that is a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Facebook.com slash Huda TV or Huda.tv. Feel free, inshallah, to always interact with us on Facebook. And finally, our YouTube page, Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Ameen, which is uh, doing some, uh, the brothers there are doing some really great things, inshallah. YouTube.com slash Huda TV, where you can find live streaming of our programming at any time during the day. You can just log in and alhamdulillah, I mean, it's a very stable connection because it's through the YouTube uh, page and mashallah, it's working very, very well. And also you can find our latest programs. If you've missed any program here on Huda TV throughout the week, you can inshallah, most likely find it online, especially the programs that air in prime time, uh, meaning the hours of 9 p.m. Mecca time until about 11.30 p.m. Mecca time. Tonight, my dear brothers and sisters, we would like to talk about some very important issues that are happening here at Huda TV. We are only about two weeks away, a little bit over two weeks away from the month of Ramadan, subhanAllah. Such a beautiful time of the year and we make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we say, Allahumma balighna Ramadan. Oh Allah, allow us to witness Ramadan. Oh Allah, allow us to be one of the people who live until the beautiful month of Ramadan, bi'idhnillahi ta'ala. So that inshallah, we join the blessings of being amongst the people who are on, uh, on the straight path during the month of Ramadan. And as you know, my dear brothers and sisters, whether you come from an Arab background, whether you come from a Desi background, whatever background you come from, whether you're Caucasian, whether you're African, whatever it is, you know that there's a whole bunch of programs that are not in accordance with the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that, that are going to be airing specially during the month of Ramadan. Especially during the month of Ramadan, they're going to start airing. And it's not my opinion, but it is the truth that these people, they try to make us stray away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even during the month of Ramadan. Even during the month of Ramadan. So Huda TV, bi'idhnillah ta'ala, my dear brothers and sisters, has been working very, very, very hard for over the past six months in order to bring you quality programming during the month of Ramadan, original, exclusive programming that you will see only here, bi'idhnillah ta'ala, during the month of Ramadan. We're going to be talking about that in just a bit, bi'idhnillah ta'ala, but I want to go ahead and take a, a look with you at a clip of one of my favorite scholars, Mufti Ismail Mink, where he's talking about materialism. Let's go ahead and take a look. Everybody is running, everybody is racing. Racing to do what? Racing to get more, to have more, to have the latest, 
to have everything the others have and even more and better and to see who has the best and so on. This is more like a rat race, the race behind materialism. If we are to run behind materialism, materialism has no end. A lot of the times the example that people give is that of the mobile phone. We always want the latest, even if the phone we have does our job and it is good and it has been faithful to us. We still want to change it. We want to update it. Sometimes when we cannot even afford to have a mobile phone and we would have it, we would borrow, we would live on that which is credit in the sense that we owe people and we don't even have the means to own something and we want it. The same applies to a motor vehicle where you have a person who has a car, they've barely afforded it, but they want another one. They want to update it and they keep on updating it and they look at the other one and they want that one as well. And then they are never happy with what they have because they see what others have. We are taught as Muslims, be happy with what you have. Look at what you have, concentrate on it and thank the Almighty for, where, for what He has given you and for where He has placed you. And this is the contentment of the heart that is required by a believer. I always love the advice of Mufti Ismail Mank, mashallah. He has some really, really beautiful advice, and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward him. And throughout this next half an hour, inshallah, we're going to be showing at least three more clips from Mufti Ismail Mink, and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make them a benefit, inshallah. So uh, I'm here from the control room that we're getting quite a lot of phone calls, but uh, most of them are not going through, and the reason for that is because these are not our real numbers, they are our temporary numbers because we're experiencing some difficulties when it comes to uh, our uh, original and our normal phone lines. So inshallah, try again, keep on trying. The number is 002-0100-246-4583. These are our numbers. This is actually one number, 002-0100-246-4583. Keep on calling inshallah and hopefully you'll get through. The question for tonight, my dear brothers and sisters, is what kind of topics would you like to see on Huda TV during the month of Ramadan? In Ramadan 2013, Ramadan 1434, after Hijrah, what kind of programs would you like to see here on Huda TV? That is our question for the evening. What kind of programs, who are the presenters that you would like to see on screen? What kind of topics especially that you would like to see? Would you like to see some topics relating to Salah? some topics relating to Ramadan, some topics relating to the Prophet ﷺ, the seerah of the Prophet ﷺ. What kind of topics would you like to see? Would you like to see some heart softeners? Some things that inshallah will get us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and will make us cry? Or would you like to see that Ramadan becomes a life changing and a turning point in your life a point where you can plant some seeds of change as our program with Sheikh Zainuddin Johnson is going to be called in Ramadan bi'ithnillahi ta'ala. Alright, as I await your phone calls inshallah on the phone numbers that I mentioned and they're going to be up on your screen throughout the episode inshallah start ringing in and until we wait for that let's go ahead and take a look at another clip by Mufti Ismail Mink. This one, in this one he's talking about how to have a relaxed life. Let's take a look. <laughs> I need to tailor make my life according to my budget. What I have is the budget. What I own is the amount that I have. I need to make sure that I buy that which I can afford. Why should I buy something I cannot afford? It is a burden on the shoulders. It is something that will bog me down. It is always a worry in the mind. Some people have, and we've seen this happening even in advanced countries, some people have lived on credit all their lives. So they have a job, the job pays them a good salary, their car is on higher purchase, the furniture is on higher purchase, the television on higher purchase, the computers on higher purchase, the phones on higher purchase, uh, the furniture, everything on higher purchase. So much so that even their holidays are not yet paid for. And they've just swiped a card and it keeps on adding. They did not calculate that one day we might lose the job then how are we going to pay for it? And this has happened. It has happened in the, most of advanced, in the most advanced of countries. And we need to know that it can happen anywhere. And for this reason, Islam teaches us, don't live on credit. Live your life according to your means. If you cannot afford a holiday, don't go on it. 
or go on a more basic holiday. If you cannot afford a mobile phone, don't have one. If you cannot afford a vehicle, go with public transport. It might be better for you. And so on. Yes, we should aim right at the skies. No harm in that. But do not pretend like you're living on a cloud when you have not yet moved above the ground. SubhanAllah, some people Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them a great blessing of being able to connect not with only people's minds but with their hearts, directly their hearts. Even though they may be saying some things that other people may be saying but SubhanAllah, I think it's the sincerity and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make uh, Mufti Ismail Mink uh, amongst the sincere of his servants and his slaves inshaAllah. Beautiful, beautiful advice, mashaAllah. We should not be living except according to our means. Whatever we have, we live on. We should not be living on credit. As he said, if you want to go on a holiday but you can't afford it, don't just swipe the card and go on that holiday and not think about how you're going to pay the money back or if you're going to pay it back with interest. But go on a more basic holiday or not go at all based on your finances. If you're able to go on a lesser you know, holiday instead of staying at a five-star hotel, if you stay at a three-star hotel because this is what you can afford, then that is something that is better. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to always make us content with what we have in our lives and to always make us amongst the believers who inshallah leave this life with no debts, with no debts on their backs ta'ala, so that we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <coughs> on the day of judgment ta'ala, with no debts at all. Alright, uh, my dear brothers and sisters, we have just a couple minutes before we take a break and I want you to start giving me a call. The number is 002-0100-246-4583, 002-0100-246-4583. These are our temporary numbers because we're having some uh, problems with our more uh, well-known numbers inshallah. Uh, we, I want you to give me a call. The topic, the, the question for the evening tonight, inshallah, and the topic is, what kind of topics would you like to see on Huda TV in Ramadan this year? Ramadan 2013, 14, 34, after Hijrah, ta'ala. We're going to take a short break, my dear brothers and sisters. When we come back, I would love to hear from you. Keep ringing in, even if the call doesn't go through because of our uh, temporary lines. Keep on trying, inshallah, and hopefully you'll get through. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you. You'll take a short break. I'll see you after the break, inshallah. In a game of golf, both the caddy and the golfer have the same goal, to get the ball into the hole. Interest-free banking is similar. With a clear view of the fairway, a predefined agreement without shift in targets, things should end up where you want them. Your deposits are safe and your funds are ethically managed with a transparent and equitable approach to sharing risk and reward. No interest burden means more time to relax without the worry of nasty surprises. Rest assured, our interest is mutual. Jazz Bank, Nigeria's first full-fledged non-interest bank. Welcome to Tech Talk. I'm your host, Omar Sheer. This season of Tech Talk, we will focus specifically on the internet. A student would um, type their paper, and instead of handing me a hard copy of their paper, they would upload it to this learning system, okay. this, this e-learning system. I have some great experience when it comes to uh, technology, and in particular, internet technology. Call to action is something that we do in our day-to-day -day lives, and maybe we don't realize it. Now, we want to discuss, after you have a product, and you have a website, and you have a way to communicate with your customers, which would be your email marketing system, now it's time to take the money from the customer. Uh, 
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, welcome back to Viewers Pulse. I'm Usama Shami filling in for Brother Malik Ibn Galatus, who is not off this evening, but as, uh, as I said in the first segment, he is outdoor filming for his Ramadan program, inshallah, that's going to be very, very, very good, inshallah, called Ramadan Pulse Season 2, ibn Allah ta'ala. Last year we brought you Ramadan Pulse, the first season. This one is going to be totally new and totally different, ibn Allah ta'ala. Uh, this Ramadan, inshallah, look out uh, for it. As I said before the break, we have a very, very beautiful lineup of programming coming up this Ramadan, inshallah, for you, exclusively here on Huda TV. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward every single person who has been working behind the scenes in order to make it happen. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward every single brother and every single sister who has donated for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this past year or so, so that we are able to bring you this type of programming. As you know, my dear brothers and sisters, no matter how much we try to cut costs here at Huda TV, no matter you know, how many people, instead of doing one job, they end up doing five or six jobs, still, television production is very, very, very expensive. And as you see here on Huda TV, Alhamdulillah Rabbi Ameen, we try to bring you quality, quality in terms of the content of the programming, and also at the same time in terms of the quality of production. We try to bring you the highest standards that are out there on the market. We try to do our best. And Alhamdulillah, I mean, that, of course, that takes a lot of finances. And you are here to support us. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you at any time. You know, you feel that you want to donate for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you feel that Huda TV is a project that you want to donate to. Log on to our website, huda.tv, and find out from their ways in order to donate for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to contribute to da'wah bi ta'ala. All right, my dear brothers and sisters, as I await your phone calls, again, the number is 002-0100-246-4583-002-0100-246-4583. Give me a call right now, inshallah. And the question for the evening is, what kind of topics would you like to see on Huda TV this upcoming Ramadan? As I wait your phone calls, ta'ala, we're going to go ahead and take a look at our third clip of the evening of Mus Mufti Ismail Bink. Let's go ahead and take a look at it, inshallah. <laughs> A lot of the non-Muslims already know a lot, but they are waiting for us to behave in a manner that our messenger has taught us. And they will come through. Believe me, bare minimum is the enmity they have against us will be minimized. You have in any country on the globe, there are a lot of non-Muslims, a lot of non-Muslims. And we have a policy. You have your faith, you are free to follow it. And we have our faith, we should be also free to follow it. This is it. We don't trample on your feet, you don't trample on ours. But we should be racing and competing with one another on humanitarian grounds to prove that we are actually following the more correct religion. And we are following that which is more beautiful and that which is even better. And we have higher teachings. If you look at the countries of the globe, when the Muslim traders came to the countries one by one, they accepted Islam based on what? Based on their character and conduct, based on their personality, the upright trading that they had. It was not based more on the fact that they went and shoved it down the people's throats. They did not do that. There were no swords used in Indonesia. In fact, Islam did not spread with the sword. It did not at all, unlike what people believe. Some people say Islam was spread by the sword. For your information, the largest number of human beings ever to enter the fold of Islam in a 10-year period was between the year 2000 and 2010. I'm talking of now. The largest in number, which sword was used? If any, they were used against us rather than anything else. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us an upright understanding. Subhanallah, Mufti Ismail Mink, again, is a truly beautiful speaker. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
uh, make them always on the correct understanding of Islam um, I'm hearing from the control room that we're getting a lot of calls and still of course there is a problem with our phone lines our latest call was from a brother who was actually able to get through but the line cut off his name is brother Abdul Qadir from Somalia try to give us a call back inshallah again brother Abdul Qadir and all my brothers and sisters who are trying to call in we still have about six or seven minutes left in the program and I'd love to hear from you so inshallah give us a call it looks like Brother Abdul Qadir is back with us. Brother Abdul Qadir from Somalia. Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Can I call back? Uh, you can call back, of course, or you can talk to us right now whenever you want. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. I'm with you live, Brother, brother Abdul Qadir. You're on viewers' pulse. Oh uh, yeah, I would like just uh, according to my three points, I would like programs related to uh, Ramadan, uh, especially talking about you know how Ramadan would encourage us into doing uh, better things of uh, the religion, mm -hmm. and I also uh, like to hear from you with the uh, programs relating to the you know, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. You know, you also would have talking about. Uh, uh, the companion is uh, just like the Kulafa, yes. uh, and so just like, uh, for example, I would, have, I, would have, I would have also like to hear from you uh, for God is relating to uh, Taraweeh. Taraweeh, yes, you know, inshallah. People, uh, you know, take any care to go into the mosque in order to break Taraweeh, some of them get tired. Uh, yes. Uh, so please book more emphasis and concentrate uh, to encourage people into doing that. Thank you so much, Brother Abu Qadr, for your suggestions. We're going to take them all into account, and we hope that all the points that you mentioned will be included somehow in one or more of the programmings that we have. Thank you so much, Brother. My dear brothers and sisters, we still have about five minutes left in the program. Give us a call, inshallah, at any time right now. Again, the number is 002 2400 Two four six four five eight three. So, inshallah, give me a call right now. What kind of topics would you like to see on Huda TV this Ramadan? We had Brother Abdul Qadir give us a call from Somalia right now and uh, share with us his thoughts. So, uh, inshallah, give us a call, inshallah, and share your thoughts whenever uh, you you want to be in the We have about five minutes left in the program so uh, give us a call and share with us your thoughts and tell us and tell us uh, your thoughts mashallah we have another phone call from somalia brother masoud assalamu alaikum brother masoud assalamu alaikum yes brother go ahead you're live you're with me live go ahead uh, program is that are about Islam, to spread Islam. No, I'm holding this program. It's a life. Many people can hear and convert into Islam. You want to go to it, that can help the others to come into this very good religion. MashaAllah, brother. Thank yes, you so I, much. Brother, uh, the, uh, subhanAllah, we have your request on Huda TV this upcoming Ramadan. We have a program called Spread of Islam that's going to be airing, inshallah, by Dr. Stiff Karras. It's going to be airing right here exclusively on Huda TV where he talks about how Islam spread throughout the world. So, inshallah, hopefully that will be a, a good program. Zakallah khairan, brother Masoud. Thank you so much. Um, let's go ahead, inshallah, and uh, give me a call. We have a couple minutes left in the program. The number is 002 246 and the number is on your screen. Again, these are this is our temporary number because our original phone numbers are not working at the moment. Uh, inshallah, they'll be working soon. Uh, inshallah, my dear brothers and sisters, we only have a couple minutes left in the program, so start ringing in. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Amin, two, uh, two brothers from Somalia were able to connect with us, even though the lines are kind of bad on this uh, line. Uh, keep on calling, inshallah. Brother Muhammad from Saudi Arabia, assalamu alaikum. How are you, brother? Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Amin, how are you doing, Muhammad? Alhamdulillah, I'm doing fine. Brother, I would, I would really appreciate if you can really, in Ramadan, try to put programs or some topics on Mufti Ismail Mank. Because uh, yeah, he's a mashallah. really nice speaker and 
we would like him to enlighten our hearts of it. Bismillah, you heard you heard this clips this evening? Yes. Uh, what do you think? It's, mashallah, very, very beautiful, very nice. Very, very beautiful. Inshallah, we'll try our best, inshallah. We wish we can have him come here to Huda TV, but we're not able to get a, a hold of him as of yet. We're still working on it, inshallah. But uh, what I would advise you, brother, is of course, you know, keep on watching Huda TV, but at the same time, there are many clips from Mufti Ismail Mink online. So I would advise you, inshallah, to go uh, online and, and check out his lectures. You know, at the end of the day, this is a da'wah channel. We're not telling you to only watch Huda TV. Huda TV is one of the means of da'wah, but of course, if something is not available at Huda TV at this point, feel free inshallah to log on to YouTube and you'll find plenty of beautiful lectures by Mufti Ismail Mink inshallah. Jazakallah khairan brother Muhammad and thank you to all my brothers and sisters who have tried calling in and thank you to all of you who are able to reach us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless all of us ta'ala and to allow us to be amongst those who witness the beautiful month of Ramadan ta'ala. Brother Malik will be back with you on Tuesday evening ta'ala. I hope to see you again soon. Jazakallah khairan. Have a good night. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Come join us and have your say. Let's talk about our way. Remember you are not alone. Huda is the light in your home. We'll talk about Huda. We'll talk about our way. Come join us and have your say. Let's talk about our way. Remember you are not alone. Huda is the light in your home.